So guys, today we're gonna learn a coordination exercise I've been playing around with. I was struggling with what to talk to you about this week. One lesson I've gotten in the hopper is, what the heck makes this Greg Hutchinson beat so cool? And maybe the concept of jazz beats in general. But whenever I'm at a loss for what to talk about, it's hard to go wrong with just showing you guys what I'm working on. I got this idea from Nate Wood. This is Knee Body with Gerald Clayton. Hear how Nate is playing the last three sixteenths of a group of four on the hi-hat or the ride cymbal or the splash cymbal on a snare drum. Yeah, this thing. Anyway, today we're gonna talk about what led me there and the coordination exercise I'm gonna challenge you, the viewer, to play cleanly, if you dare. Stay tuned. So, little context for those who don't study jazz. If you're used to playing blast beats, you probably won't have much use for this. Played straight, it can sound like a bad samba. And if I'm listening to samba, I want to hear it played by Ayerta Moriera. But my skeptical viewer wondering why he or she should spend any time learning a jazz-derived coordination exercise, besides Nate, there's also Mark G. and JD back. And of course, Mason Gidry. These guys all play mainstream non-jazz music, but their beats are all cooler for having messed with some of the mechanics of jazz. So what are those mechanics? Well, it's just this. But that's just the beginning. We want to get you playing this stuff. And boom, first bookmark for those of you who are like, save me the song and dance already, just show me the lick. This is the basic version of what we're trying to do. But for those of you interested in the backstory, and those of you who know that how I arrived at this is the real meat and potatoes of the lesson, let's talk about it. It started as a left hand exercise. I was doing warm ups as pictured in this lesson. Well, more precisely, I was doing hand exercises. Ever since I switched from traditional back to matched about eight years ago, my left hand has been a little weak. So I decided why not be able to play three note patterns with the left hand? as well as the right. So this is a great exercise for developing your left hand. Just find the simplest way to play your hands together so you're alternating which hand is marking time and which hand is playing the exercise. You could separate the hands like this But that would be boring city. Besides, you miss the opportunity to practice coordination. If you want to play it faster, you can simplify it. Then you can add the hats on every quarter or eighth, depending on how you're feeling the beat. You can practice as fast to slow or with a metronome for steadiness. Okay, but how about the JD Beck and Nate Wood aspect? So I started experimenting with permutations. What if I started the sequence on the second 16th? Three, four.
or the third. Or the fourth. And here's the thing, when you add the hats on eighths, if you're starting the sequence on the second or fourth sixteenth, that's when things get really cool. But here's the trick. Can you switch between them without losing the thread, like this? Can you, drummers of the internet? So that's all well and good, but we want to take it a step further, right? Because David Goggins doesn't quit halfway through a marathon, does he? David Goggins finishes what he starts. Be more like David Goggins. That's basically what I'm trying to say here, folks. So my favorite way to f with this lick is to three beat phrase it. So instead of going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one. If you do that with a standard alternating pattern, it sounds like this. Original? Messed with. So, what if we do this for the second 16th? Or the fourth? Am I blowing your mind yet? Are you not entertained? Well, what about if we string them all together with hats on the eights? Can you handle that, drum internets? Can you deal with that? Any Heasel, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. And dudes, same song and dance as always. If you've enjoyed the lesson, if you've been checking out the channel for a hot minute, you feel like maybe you're ready to go deeper, maybe you're ready to study with me, I recommend my courses, the coaching course, the practice course, and now the brand new solo course debuting next week. Each of those courses is like studying with me for between three and six months for around the price of a single lesson. And we only open them once or twice a year and we only open them to people on our mailing list. Ergo, if you would like to get on my mailing list and if you'd like a free bribe, you can click the link below this video player and just by virtue of entering your email address in on the next page and clicking that bright orange button, I'm going to send you three free videos that'll make you playing better in the next three weeks than it's gotten in the last six months. Commerce. Dudes, it's been real. Always enjoy these. Talk to you soon. And boom, first, and boom, first, and boom, first boom. <laughs>